sometimes it happens that uh, the asset is being used uh, partly for private purpose and partly for business purpose so first of all you have to check that uh, the private use uh, is made by uh, either the owner or the employee because there are different rules regarding employees as well as owner so first of all if uh, partial use is by the employee then this fact is to be ignored in calculation of capital allowances that means if uh, a car is being used private for private purpose and for business purpose by employee then consider it as a normal car so no dif difference will be there on the calculation of capital allowances but as far as the use of uh, owner is concerned if a sole trader is uh, used a uh, asset for private purpose then that particular asset is to be treated it as a separate item and a separate column is to be created and in that separate column when you calculate capital allowance that is uh, aia or wda or first year allowance then the capital allowance is only available for the business use that means if eligible capital allowance is 100000 and the business use is 50 percent then we can only claim 50000 of capital allowance so capital allowance is restricted up to the business use so twd we brought forward for main pool is 80000 plant costing purchase plant costing 1.2 million a car purchased at a cost of 200000 another car was purchased at a cost of 350000 the first car's co2 is 110 gram and the second car's co2 is 140 gram per kilometer so from co2 we can say that the first car is a main pool item and the second car is a special pool item but the car one is used by owner so a separate column is to be created but car two is used by employee so there is no need to create a separate column and this car will be part of uh, the special pool as per the co2 calculation calculate capital allowances so we have been given main pool and uh, uh, we have a special pool item as well as as a separate item is also there so let's work it out so we have uh, main pool we have uh, a special pool item and a car for a separate pool separate column and total of allowance so twd we brought forward is uh, 80000 twd we brought forward is 80000 now let's talk about the addition so first addition is plant costing 1.2 million so plant costing 1.2 2 million we know that up to 1 million we can claim aia so 1 million is being claimed as aia transferred to allowance column and the excess is 200000 and uh, then we have car 1 uh, which is used by owner for business purpose so car 1 cost is 200000 so car 1 200,000 as a separate column item and car 2 350,000 special pool item so car 2 350,000 as a special pool item so the total is 280,000 for main pool 350,000 for a special pool and 200,000 in the separate column now after this uh, total we will calculate the capital allowance so what we have to identify first wda of 18 percent on main pool item so 280 into 0.18 that is 50,400 and this is transferred to the allowance column 50,400 and then on a special pool item the wda is six person so 350 into six so that is uh, 21,000 
and uh, for the private use by the owner as co2 is 110 gram per kilometer so the wda will be 18 percent so 200 into 0.18 and uh, we have 36 thousand but as the business use is only 60 percent so the claim would be just 60 percent so 36 thousand into 60 that is 21,600 is to be transferred in the pool. And now we have the balance that is CWDV, closing balance, CWDV, closing balance. So that is uh, 280 minus 50.4, that is uh, 229,600, 350 minus 21, 329,000 and 200 minus 36 that is 1 lakh 64000 and uh, the total of the allowance 1 million plus 000. so we have total of allowance 1093000 now let's talk about the disposal of uh, assets. So if uh, there is any disposal of any item, whether that item is a part of pool or a separate column item, such as the private use asset, the rule is that uh, we have to deduct the item that has been disposed of. And the rule is that the value that is to be deducted is the lower of the original cost of the asset or the sales value. For example, if the cost of the asset is 100,000 and the sale proceed is 80,000, then we will opt for the sales proceed as a deduction. Now after deduction, uh, the remaining balance might be a balancing allowance or a balancing charge. So after disposal, uh, if there is any balance, we have to check that whether that balance is positive or negative uh, and uh, whether it will be called as a balancing allowance or balancing charge or not. So first of all, as far as balancing allowance is concerned, if uh, the disposal is related to a pool item, then there will be no balancing allowance in the life of the business. But if the disposal take place in the year of cessation, then a balancing allowance is possible only in the case of uh, a pool item. So for a pool item, balancing allowances is only possible when the year of cessation is there. But as far as a separate column is concerned, if we sell an item held in separate column and after deduction of the disposal proceed, if there is a positive balance, then you can claim that positive balance as a balancing allowance. Balancing allowance means simply capital allowance. But if uh, after deduction of any disposal proceed, the balance becomes negative, whether it is a part of a pool or a separate column item, the rule is same for both the pool item as well as a separate column item that after disposal, if there is a negative balance, then this negative balance is to be treated as balancing charge a negative capital allowance. So a balancing allowance is a positive capital allowance figure and a balancing charge is a negative capital allowance figure. Now let's discuss or apply these concepts into this example. For example, opening balance of the main pool is given. A motor car opening balance is also given, which is a private use asset by the owner. Now there is an, an addition of uh, a car and uh, a main pool item was sold at a price of 20,000. Its original cost was 280,000. A motor car, the above motor car has been sold at a price of 10,000, which is lower than cost. You need to find out the capital allowance figure. So let's complete this question. So we have, uh, first of all, we have uh, a main pool, we have a separate car, 
and there is an addition of a special pool item and then we have allowance so first of all we have twdb brought forward given in the question and that is uh, 80000 in opening balance of car 50000 so it's 80000 and 50000 now there is an addition of car at a cost of 100000 140 gram so car purchased um, 100000 as a special item due to its uh, carbon dioxide emission rate a main pool item was sold at a price of 20000 which is lower figure so disposal of uh, a main pool item and the lower off is uh, 20000 so deduct from the main pool and then uh, the motor car has been sold at a price of 10000 so the motor car is sold at a price of 10000 so after addition and disposal, we have the balance available that is uh, 60,000. Here it is 40,000 and here it is 100,000. Now, after disposal, the main pool balance is 60,000, but it is not considered as a balancing allowance because balancing allowance is not possible in the main pool item until it's a case of cessation. And uh, in the separate column, so routinely WDA of 18% uh, is to be claimed on uh, the pool item that is 60,000 into 18% and this is uh, considered to be 10,800, 10,800 is part of pool but as far as the car is concerned on car there is a balancing allowance and that balancing allowance is why it's a balancing allowance because after deduction the balance is positive if the balance is positive it is to be claimed as a balancing allowance but as we know that there is a business use of 60 percent only so 60 percent is available that is uh, 24,000 we can claim and as far as the special pool item is concerned there is a wda of six percent per annum so that comes out to be 6,000. Now find out the TWD we carried forward balance and the total of allowance balance. So in this way we have So the allowance total is 40800. Another important concept that is uh, a special pool item. So uh, generally when we purchase a plant in machinery or car we can classify them as a main pool item or in the case of car uh, we have already dis discussed about whether it will be a part of main pool or a separate column but which type of asset will be a part of a special pool? There are four points in it. First of all, number one, a high emission car. When you purchase in high emission car, that is uh, the CO2 is greater than 110 gram per kilometer. It, it is always a part of a special pool item. And the second thing is that the item integral, integral feature of building. If any plant and machinery is an integral feature of building, then it is to be considered as a special pool item. Remember that building do not classified as a plant and machinery. So if there is any integral feature of a building, so that plant and machinery will be considered as a, a item eligible for capital allowances. What is an integral feature of building such as heating system, cooling system, lifts, etc., etc. Then a third item is thermal insulation of building. If any expenditure is being incurred on the thermal insulation of building, that is to be considered as a special pool item. And the fourth one is a long life assets. If any plant and machinery purchased is considered as long life asset, that would be part of a special pool. Uh, two things you have to be identified. First, the life should be greater than 25 years and the expenditure should be more than 100,000 for a period of uh, 12 months. 
so if this condition will be satisfied then the asset becomes a long life asset and a long life asset will always be a part of a special pool item remember that uh, we can claim aia on special pool items as well as as well but uh, on car there is no aia available so except for point number a point number b point number c and point number d can attract a aia on a special pool so if uh, there are two types of asset one is the main pool item other is the special pool item then remember the order that first utilized aia against the special pool item in order to maximize the benefits of capital allowance and then use the main pool item if the uh, value is available so for example we have twd we brought forward of the main pool was 22000 then a long life asset is being purchased at a cost of 1030000 then another machinery purchase at a cost of 45000 calculate capital allowances so main pool item and a special pool item and an allowance we have twd we brought forward 22000 and a long life asset was purchased 1030 so long life asset 1030000 now i claim now i will claim 1 million from this is the most beneficial way and this is 1 million and the surplus is transferred into the special pool now what about uh, the plant and machinery 45000 so you have to show that uh, aia is not available because it is already being used against the special pool item so the whole amount is transferred into the main pool why we apply aia first on a special pool item because its wda is less than 18% is just only 6% so it is better to transfer the minimum balance in the special pool and the maximum balance in the main pool so after this we have the total that is 30000 of the special pool item and uh, 67000 amount in the main pool now the routine process that is wda of 18% and wda of 6% so 18% of 67000 is uh, 12060 and uh, 6% of 30000 that is uh, 1800 and in this way we have twdb carried forward the so 67000 minus this 64940 and uh, 30000 minus 1800 that is 28200 so this is twdb carried forward and we have uh, a total of that is uh, 1802 so 1 million plus 12060 plus 1800 and 101386 is the total capital allowances 